2.5 million views. An amazing oh. video that we are sharing with you today in our live podcast. It's a short that touched millions of people and we've got so many amazing testimonies and comments um, coming from this short video of a lady who reached out to heaven and saw angels and saw God before passing away. Joined today with me is the voiceover artist of this short video, 2.5 million views, um, Marina. And I've also joined with our friend Jeff from Harmony of Spirit on TikTok. Thanks, guys, for joining me. Thank you, Jeff, for joining us. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Marina. Marina, can you tell us, start off by telling us a little bit about um, your experience with the video? It wasn't you, actually, that a lot of people think it was actually you that had the experience um, of observing a loved one pass away, but you were the voiceover artist. Can you tell us about your experience? Uh, I, I actually uh, received this from you uh, a week ago, I think, a week, week and a half ago. And um, you asked me to read the transcript, so I did. And I wasn't feeling well, but uh, I was praying to the Heavenly Father. Um, and I said uh, to him, I hope this video reaches a million or over a million. That's Those were my words to him. And I said, uh, Heavenly Father, if it's your will, if it's your divine will. And uh, I said, uh, you know, one more thing. Um, if it does reach a million or more than a million, uh, I'd like them to come back to Mother and Refuge. And, um, and I hope that through the devotions uh, of, uh, of uh, the channel, uh, the, the, very, the many devo devotions of the Rosary and uh, all the other sacraments that would lead them uh, to really um, be transformed, you know, by... Uh, mm by god and uh you know change their lives and uh and and then um uh, <laughs> it happened you know it uh it reached <laughs> more than a million it's yeah. you know 2.4 million we, we were shocked to see and there's been so many amazing comments and testimonies that we're going to share as you can see um for you jeff it's probably not no big deal because tiktok always gets around 2 million there's always videos that get 2 million and plus but for us on YouTube, it's a big deal, but <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> we're going to share some of your uh, experiences as well as some stories related to um, the, the video. But um, yeah. before that, can we? We're going to read through. Marina's going to read through some of the popular comments and um, witnesses that people gave in the comments section of the video. So as you can see, two point seven thousand comments. Gosh. Yes. Uh uh, I actually picked uh, beautiful stories, but short ones because many are very long. They're a, a whole life story. Uh, and this one is: my mother had this had the same experience, looking up at the ceiling, saying she sees beautiful clouds from above, with a big smile on her face. Uh, before she passed away, I miss her so much. Then another co comment from Anna Christina. My mom's last words uh, spoken peacefully were, Jesus is coming my way. I do believe she was seeing Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for mom's salvation. And uh, there was, there's another comment, there's so many. Uh, Virginia writes, as a hospice worker for over 20 years, I've seen this precious gift so many times and still bring tears to my eyes. May God continue to do his will. And then there's another comment. Um, my mom passed away 12 days ago. It's no coincidence this video has been sent to me. She's letting me know she's happy. She was my everything. Love you, Mama. Um, yes. Uh, would you like me to continue reading yes, more? Go ahead. Yeah, go okay. ahead, read more. All right, so this is another one. Um, from uh, Buffy, my sister passed away five weeks ago. The pain is extraordinary, but she talked a lot about heaven. She said it was beautiful, with flowers and people smiling. Uh, so much love. It gives me comfort 
beyond my pain. She's happy in heaven. And then uh, another comment from uh, Lynn Modi. Mama said, hold my hand while I step across Jordan on a deathbed. There was no pain or meds. She was holding her hands out and said, and, and she said, the angels are coming to take me away. I believe he never leaves us or forsakes us. And, um, yes. That's great. Um, Jeff, I know that you make a lot of spiritual videos on your TikTok channel. Um, yeah. Why do you think people are fascinated with, with this video? Um, I think it's hope. We all need hope. You know, this life, we are living in a fallen world. It's it's a bit of a cruel world at times. And I think the hope of a better life is what draws people. But um, I will share with you just my own personal experience. Um, funnily enough, my mother-in-law works um, in a hospital and um, she prepares the bodies of the dying or the dead. and. Um, she has seen many people die and she herself i would not say that she she's not a christian um she knows there's something but um she has a faith she believes that the, we go on to something um i've spoken to her a little bit about faith but you know she's a little bit uh, cold when it comes to um thinking about christianity or anything deeper but she has had a lot of experiences with people dying that have seen their loved ones and so on. And um, personally, in my own family, my grandfather saw his deceased wife and brother and some other family members at the foot of his bed. Um, he was not in a coma or anything. This is not a dream. He was awake, mm. he was lucid, but he was close to death. And he said, can you see the family? Can you see my wife, Minnie? She's standing at the foot of the bed. And we were there and he was pointing to them and you could see in his eyes that he had seen his loved ones come for him. And then shortly later, of course, he passed away. Mm. It's beautiful. And a yeah. recent video of yours, Jeff, is about um, a lady that was seen on the side of, of the road. Um, yeah. And I really was inspired by that video and you were telling me that about it um, before the show today can you tell our audience yeah. a little bit more about this amazing story yes a highway patrolman gives his testimony uh, that they were called to a man who was stopped beside the road um he was driving down the road he saw a woman standing in the middle of the road he actually thought he'd hit her with his car and so he pulled over got out of his car but could not find her anywhere he called the police they arrived they searched up and down the embankment and they found a broken guardrail. And when they looked through on the embankment, there was a car. In the car, there was a, a two year old child that was still alive, but the mother was dead at the wheel. And the highway patrolman and, and this person, they believed that the woman that was standing in the middle of the road was the mother, possibly, mm. or and maybe an angel but I, I think the mother i think she wanted to know that her child had been found and was safe before she went on to the next life yeah that's so true so amazing mm. i just want to bring to everyone's attention because there are so many comments and questions related to this um video this viral video people are asking um you know a lot of the people are asking she doesn't look 42 I'll put the her picture on the screen again. It so the this is the lady here. This is a true uh, video. The story isn't directly related to the video. The story is also a true story that I got from a testimonies website of a forty two year old um, woman that her friend experienced something similar to this lady. So this is not the exact story. So I just wanted to clarify that. But it is. But the story that Marina does tell is is a true story as well, and this is a true video. Um, and as we saw in the in the compilation that was shown at the beginning of the video, there were so many other people, and it's important that we realise that these are 
all people that need our prayers. Um, as Catholics, we we do pray for people that are pa that pass away, and that's a really important, important and consoling thing. Um, Jeff, can you tell us about the importance of that for you? I know that you were a former Anglican. Um, I'm not sure what the Anglican practice is, but why is it such an important practice, do you think? Yes, well, um, praying for the dead or the dying, um, that they may obtain the mercy of God. I mean, we can acquire grace for people through our prayers. Um, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, is very important in this our lord gave us the divine mercy chaplet for this purpose to pray for the dying um my own mother passed away last year and it was a beautiful experience i went in on her final day i didn't know it was her final day but i went in on her final day she looked up at me and said oh you're here my boy and we had a few words she was quite lucid she hadn't been previously it had, it was as though the lord just gave us the final moment and when she rolled back over and went to sleep i sat beside her bed and prayed the divine mercy chaplet for her i then drove home which took a 30 minute journey and as soon as i got in the door i had the phone call to say that she was gone but i'm not sure whether she went within that 30 minute period or when she literally rolled over and I prayed the divine mercy. Um, can I just read you one little paragraph of the divine mercy, the words of our Lord. He said, at the hour of death, I defend as my own glory, every soul that will say this chaplet or when others say it for a dying person, the indulgence is the same. When the chaplet is said by the bedside of a dying person, God's anger is placated, unfathomable mercy envelops the soul, and the very depths of my tender mercy are moved for the sake of the sorrowful passion of my son. Yeah. Beautiful. Marina, would you like to share anything about, um, I know that you've had some experiences as well, and especially in re regards to the mercy of, of our Lord and especially through the image behind you um, that you've told me about and and your devotion to our Lord, um, especially in True Life in God. Would you like to share anything about that? Yes, uh, True Life in God is uh, everything to me. Um, um, and as you can see, the image on my left, uh, that's the painting, uh, the main painting on your website now, Ron. Uh, one of the paintings, isn't it, in, uh, in the yeah. comment section? Yes. Uh, and that was drawn, uh, that was painted in 2013, I believe, uh, uh, by Vassila Reden. Um, and it's a miraculous image. So it's the, the main painting, the, the bigger one of Jesus. Um, and uh, the messages of true laughing God um, is so important for our times because it speaks of Jesus' tenderness, his mercy, his love to bring every person back to him, you know, to, to really know uh, and understand the heart of the Father, you know, that is so tender, so loving, so meek, so kind. And, um, and you know, when I first started reading Should I Think God, my whole, my whole soul was lifted to heaven that whole week. I felt like I was living in heaven. And my whole soul was transformed and uh, together with many, many thousands of others. So um, again, uh, Ron, I must say that was one of my prayers that you will, <laughs> you will talk about true life in God, you see? <laughs> I know I it's one of your devotions. And, exactly. and the reason why I brought it up is that picture, if you can show it a bit closer, the picture of God the Father, I found it very inspiring and very powerful if yes. you show it closer to the screen. And you talked yeah. about how it depicts yeah. God the Father as a tender, loving Father. Yes. And, and we spoke about the importance of that hope that God the Father loves us. And, and we could see it in, that, in the videos that we watched of, of these people passing away moments before their death. Yes. And we need to keep that hope. I know you spoke about that at the beginning, Jeff, about hope and how that yeah. hope draws so many people to, to be interested in these kinds of videos. And it is. 
that hope in God the Father that is so tender and loving and he loves us beyond our wildest expectations and he's always he's always ready to save us and he gives us so many opportunities to to come to him and especially yeah. at the hour of our death yeah would you like to comment on on that um, Jeff on the importance of the hour of our death and how we can um, get prepare for that throughout the yes day? yes I mean I do believe that at the hour of every person's death, Christ comes to give them one final chance of repentance. I do believe that. Um, there's a wonderful story uh, of Padre Pio, who, Padre Pio, the great mystic, Catholic stigmatist, he knew many things. Um, he had a woman come to him whose son, had committed suicide she her son had jumped from a bridge into a river and before she even spoke to Padre Pio he said to her between the bridge and the river your son was saved and obviously he'd regretted what he had done jumping from the bridge asked the Lord's forgiveness uh, before he died and just that calling out to God in those last moments uh is enough to save a soul and that is the beauty of purgatory because you know i know other christian denominations struggle with purgatory but their belief is heaven or hell and and that's you know so harsh in my mind and i am mm -hmm. so grateful for the gift of purgatory because you know we need purgatory we all need purgatory i i would i would be thankful if i get to purgatory <laughs> because your salvation is assured your place in heaven is assured if you're in purgatory you're on your way <laughs> exactly so beautiful. yeah yeah thank you so much jeff and marina for sharing you know i just thought um it would be great for us to to talk about this video since it's, it's it's gone so viral and um and it's impacted so many people, as we saw in our descriptions, in our um, comments, sorry. And um, I'll leave you guys with that. Maybe we can uh, finish off with a prayer um, for the dead and for those people that we we saw in the video. Um, Jeff, would you lead us in a prayer, please, for those? Yes, uh, a prayer that our Lord has given us um, for the souls in purgatory, especially. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious blood of your divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those within my own home and within my own family. Amen. Amen. Amen.